Hello everybody. So today we're going to be doing a fun project. Now you guys all know we've been learning about ocean and marine life this week. So to tie that all together, we have a project to do and we're going to be making jellyfish. So what you need is either a paper plate cut in a semicircle and you can cut the rim off of it, right? I just cut, just cut my rim right off. Or you could cut a piece of white paper in a semicircle shape, okay? And I'm just, for the demonstration purposes only, I'm just going to grab a piece of um, masking tape so I can put it up on my easel so it's easier for you to see. Okay, so I'm going to tape that to my easel. Now, you also will need some strips of tissue paper. I have two different colors, but you could just use one color or three colors, whatever you have and whatever your child decides that they want to use. And then I have a glue stick here, but you could use regular Elmer's glue. That would work just fine too. Just a little bit will go a long way. And I have paint. Okay, I have some paint here, but you can use markers um, and to decorate it. All right, so and if you have googly eyes, great. If not, we're going to be using our finger, if you can see, we can use our finger um, to put some paint and make some a fake silly face on our jellyfish. All right, so let's get into it. So first, we're gonna make the, I think it's called tentacles, but we're gonna make the legs of the jellyfish. So I'm going to take some a strip of tissue paper and I'm going to open up my glue stick and I'm going to just put just a little bit of uh, glue just at the top of the tissue paper right and I'm going to place it right at the end in the bottom of my jellyfish shape. Okay, and then I'm going to alternate between pink and blue, but you can choose one color, three colors, you can put it in any kind of order that you would like. And again, I'm just putting the glue right at the tippy top, and I'm going to put it right next to the other one. And we're just gonna keep going until we finish the bot putting our legs on our jellyfish. We keep going across like so. Right? Just a little bit. Oh. It's stuck to itself. Okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. This is really easy and fun for the kids to do. Doesn't need to be perfect, right? However, the kids decide to do it. If they stick their strip up here, that's okay. They have a very unique jellyfish, then, right? It does not matter. It does not matter. It is artistic license, right? They call it artistic license. You make your jellyfish any way you want. All right, and this is my last piece to finish up my jellyfish legs. Okay, so I'm gonna close up my glue because I am done with that for now. And now we're gonna go into decorating it. Now I'm going to, pro I'm going to take some yellow paint and it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to see what I'm doing, but I'm just, I'm literally just decorating. I'm making dots. That's all I'm doing. Just making some dots of yellow. You can go go to town, decorate it however you like. I'm just making some dots with my brush. Just some dots with my brush, like so, like that. And then maybe I wanna go across my tissue paper a little bit to make a border. Just a little bit. You can decorate it however you like. This is your jellyfish. You make it 
however you like it to, right? So I used my yellow, and now I'm going to go back in and use my blue, because I have blue paint too. Okay, so I'm just going to boop, 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 boop. Just a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Like so, and then I'm just gonna go blue, 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 blue. Like so. Okay, and I'm leaving the center of my jellyfish clear because I'm going to use my thumb to dip it in my paint and I'm going to make some eyes. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna go blue, one eye. I'm going to take my thumb again, dip it in some paint, and go. Nope. Two eyes. And then I'm just going to take my thumb and dip it in some paint again, and I'm going to make a mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? I'm going to use my wipey and wipe my finger off. And then I'm going to probably go back in and make these a little bit darker and I'm going to connect them but you don't have to but that's again however you want to make your jellyfish right so my jellyfish is finished I'm finished decorating mine but you make yours take as much time as you need enjoy the process of decorating your jellyfish it is a fun experience. I love these types of art activities. And I'm going to take my jellyfish off my, and I'm gonna bring it closer to the screen so you can see my jellyfish and it wiggles. And if you had googly eyes, you could glue them onto it and use that for eyes. But today I just used my thumb. And and it waves in the wind. And if you want, you could poke a hole here and string some string and you can hang it up so that when wind or um, you know air gets through it, it like moves, right? So that is a jellyfish project. Take your time doing it, enjoy the process and don't, don't get too worried about how your child is gluing on the strips or what they're doing with the paint. As long as at the end of the day, they had fun. That's all that matters. All right. I love you guys. I hope you had fun watching our video today and go make some jellyfish. All right. Bye guys.